finally I'm at Heathrow Airport after two trip cancellations over the last two years. This trip I booked in 2019 to Finland is finally happening. I'm really, really nervous, but also really excited and I hope it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So I've arrived, I'm in my rental car now, just picked it up, I'm still in the car park. Um, I'm gonna try and figure out um, all the different all the different things going on and, and try and remember to drive on the right side of the road. Uh, but so far everything has gone incredibly well. I got a free upgrade on my flight to business class, which is absolutely brilliant. Then I got a free upgrade on this car as well. So I've now got quite a nice um, automatic car, which is really, really nice. Um, and I couldn't help but laugh at passport control when I was asked why I'm coming to Finland and I had to say I'm photographing bears. And that's what I'm here for, to photograph bears, hopefully wolverines and maybe even wolves. Very unlikely, but that would be incredible. Either way, it's going to be a brilliant trip. I've got a four hour um, ride up to Kuopio now. I've probably said that name wrong. Uh, stay in the Airbnb and then a three hour drive. Um, northeast tomorrow morning, right to the Russian border. I'll be very careful not to go over that by mistake. Um, so yeah, all lined up for a brilliant trip. I'll stop talking now because there's plenty more spectacular places to be talking than in the rental car car park. Um, so yeah, wish me luck whilst I try and figure this all out. And I'll catch up with you in a little bit. After taking the wrong turn straight out of the airport, I got back on track and drove four hours up to Kuopio where I'd spend the night before the final stretch of my journey up north into the Finnish wilderness. So I'm about one hour into the three hour drive further north from where I was last night. Slept pretty well in the Airbnb, got a good eight hours, so I'm feeling good this morning and I've just come across this lovely lake here. Um, and instantly I've seen a great northern diver, which is really cool. It's a bird that you don't see very often in the UK. Uh, it's really far away, so I'm not even gonna try and show you, but really, really nice here. And yeah, two hours left um, and then we should be in our location and we can go and find some bears. This drive is just getting cooler and cooler and I, I want to stop every 10 minutes or so because there's always another beautiful lake. <laughs> Look at that, absolutely stunning. I'm so excited to be here. I really was heading to the middle of nowhere. The roads were completely empty and I was so close now. The excitement and the nerves were really building. So I've arrived. I'm gonna try and be quiet because a lot of guests will sleep during the day so they can stay up all night. And that's what I'm gonna be trying to do this week as well. So in about five minutes, I'm gonna try and get some sleep, but I've arrived. I'm in my room here, really nice. Two beds, but I'm pretty sure it's just gonna be me. Bits of bears on the wall. Got a little desk there so I can do some photo editing throughout. And then out the window, you've got a beautiful lake and also a traditional sauna. Um, so a lot of people have a sauna and swim in the lake. I don't think I'll do that because that lake was frozen just over a month ago and I'm probably not brave enough, but we're here for a week, so I might do it, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get some sleep now and I will see you later out in the bear hide. After a quick safety briefing and getting the news that we'd have little more than a bucket to use as a loot, I set off to spend 14 hours overnight in a hide on my own. The hide is no bigger than your average garden shed, and tonight I'd be overlooking a small pond surrounded by sparse trees and marshland. After getting set up in the hide, it was just time to sit and wait, embrace the beauty of the Finnish wilderness and see what it had in store for me. It wasn't long until I spotted my first bit of wildlife, and it was totally unexpected. A juvenile cuckoo. You can tell it apart from an adult, as its wing feathers are still fairly brown. They'll turn grey in the coming weeks. Before I knew it, I was watching two of just 400 Finnish wolverines scamper across the other side of the pond. An absolutely incredible sighting, and I was so pleased to be able to see them. The area soon fell silent with just the occasional bird call to be heard. And I had two golden eye on the pond in front of me for company. Mm. 
Suddenly, a huge dark shape entered the swamp with surprising stealth. This was my first brown bear of the trip, a moment to savour. It was around one in the morning when the large male came by again. This, combined with one or two cups of coffee, gave me enough adrenaline to keep going throughout the entire night. And it's a good thing I did because there was so much more to come. In the early hours of the morning, just after some rainfall, a different male bear came past, and a couple of hours later, another one, followed by this beautiful wolverine, just moments later, and I still had one more thing in store before I left the hide. As the morning sun came down, this beautiful backlit bear wandered across the swamp. I had to take a moment to reflect before I left and headed back to the lodge. I'm so speechless. This is this is probably the best night of my life. I mean, I never expected anything like this. When I started talking to a couple of the guests at dinner before coming out, they said there were no bears here last night. So I, I was a bit worried. I mean, I always knew it was a possibility, and I sort of thought maybe if I see one, I'll be really happy. But just to see four different bears and so many opportunities. So, just going for a little stroll after a good good day's sleep. I probably slept for about five hours in the end, but honestly, I needed it. I mean, there was a there was a point this morning after breakfast for a good hour or so where I thought I was going to be sick. I felt so so rough. Um, at that point, I'd slept for half an hour in the last 24 hours. So my body was just like, "What? What are you doing to me?" Um, but hey, I made it through that, and I hope now that I can get into like some kind of routine where it's, it's sleep during the day stay up at night. Um, I'll probably start to sleep for an hour or so in the heights as well. Um, but obviously, yeah, it's so hard because you don't want to miss anything when it's light all evening. You know, that's really difficult. Um, but anyway, now, now I'm going to head back and maybe edit some photos and, and get ready for this evening. Night two would prove to be a very different experience. With heavy rain coming in moments before setting off to the hide and storms forecast throughout the night, I suspected bear activity might have been quite low this evening.
tonight's hide was unique in that it looked over a number of different environments, including the pond and the swamp in the other direction. I had three places to keep an eye out, and it wasn't long until I had my first visit from a wolverine. However, the storm was brewing, it was getting closer, and the rumble of thunder was getting louder. The skies were getting darker, and the cloud formations were absolutely amazing. It wasn't long before the heavens opened. Being in such an amazing storm, all alone in the wilderness was a really special experience. And what was left behind was absolutely incredible. The spectacular sunset and the cool mist rising from the pond in the morning made up for the lack of bears, and a passing red fox provided the entertainment before the sun came up and it was time to head back to the lodge. So I'm just walking back now to the lodge, and it's so peaceful. Um, unfortunately we didn't see bears last night, which is always a, a bit of a disappointment, but it was never ever going to be as good as last night. And I think there were always going to be some nights where we don't see a lot. Uh, but we did see Wolverine and also Red Fox a couple of times as well. And also we had some really amazing weather. Uh, we had a big storm, amazing sky, um, and some beautiful mist over the pond as well. So yeah, it was still really, really, really nice to be out in nature. And yeah, I'm looking forward to some breakfast now and another sleep and then um, I'm in the forest tonight, which is quite exciting, so I really hope that we see some stuff there. Due to recent bear activity being so low in the forest, I made the call to swap my hide tonight and go back to the open swampland. It was tough to accept, but I'd made the wrong decision. There had been a bear in the forest whilst I hadn't seen any. I was kicking myself and I had a big call to make the next night. <laughs> 